in a bag. So I've been tasked, <laughs> all right, I've been tasked with the, uh, with the, with the job of figuring out who I am. I am often in an identity crisis um, and the self-confidence waivers, depending on how I feel, while some people, particularly the person who asked me to do this task of finding out who I am, may not believe in depression. Like, it, it is what it is. I have depression. That's just what it is. That's part of who I am, you know? Um, so he asked me, he gave me a couple of days to figure out who I am, sit in front of a mirror and figure out who you are not what I am but who I am so I've been you know going back and forth with it. it it's a lot like what I've come up with is a lot of what I am as opposed to who I am but sorry yep it's awkward but as far as who I am there are many different facets to who I am um, I am a beautiful disaster. I am a hot mess. I am a person who owns up to my faults and my flaws. But I'm also a person who is overly critical of myself at times. Who is, oh, I'm a walking contradiction, which is hilarious to me. It's, <laughs> it's mind-numbing, very, very irritating sometimes, but I am a walking contradiction. But as far as who I am, like who I really am, I'm an introvert. I am a I am a super guarded introvert who wants nothing more than to have someone or a relatively small group of people in my corner, people who see me for who I am, whether it's today, tomorrow, or yesterday. I want nothing more than to receive the love and support that I feel has been stripped away from me or taken advantage of by people um, from my past, not necessarily just lovers, but people who were supposed to be friends or certain family, you know? Um, I am still that little girl who craves attention and the love and support that I felt I lacked from my childhood. But I, I struggle with being that little girl versus being the woman who I know I was meant to be. Um, I, I'm looking at someone's comment. I don't know why I freaked out. Um, I, I'm a lot of different things. I'm a lot of different things at a lot of different times, but at my core, I am a good person. I am a good person with a very big heart and I love very, very hard. And it's hard for me to express that sometimes because that's not something that I've ever been comfortable with doing. Um, I, I feel like I'm destined for great things and slowly but surely I'm climbing up that ladder of achievement. But there is a fear inside of me that stops me. And like my, my job, my goal, my focus is to overcome those fears. Because at the end of fear, there's joy and happiness, you know? So it's just like, why am I preventing myself from doing that? It can't be because I'm afraid to fail. It can't be because I'm afraid to get hurt. I think a lot of it is like I'm afraid of disappointment. But... The biggest disappointment would probably be to myself for not pursuing what I meant to pursue. So who I am is a beautiful disaster. Like I said, I'm an introvert who has a big heart and wants nothing more than to be loved and cherished and all that jazz. But a big heart starts with me. And I am working on it. And some people may not accept that, but I don't give a damn because that ain't got nothing to do with me. Who I am, what I am, what I want to be, where I was, it's all a part of my journey, not necessarily theirs. I truly believe that God puts people in your life at certain points, at certain areas and stages for you to learn from these people, for you to grow from these experiences. And I'm ever so grateful to everyone I've met during this journey 
But at the end of the day, I, I have to do this for me. That's, that's one of my quotes. It's on my wall. You got to do this for you. Because at the end of the day, love, all that matters is what you did for you. So, yeah, dude. <laughs> that's, that's my task at hand.